Welcome you all to the screencast about the audit logging feature for Microintegrator. Hello, I am Danishka, Senior Software Engineer at AppSO2. Let's come discuss why audit log is important. AppSO2 Microintegrator is supposed to run on microservices environment. It provides admin API to perform modification on the Microintegrator instance. When someone did some modification to Microintegrator instance, how are you supposed to know what are the changes happened to the Microintegrator instance? So this is where the audit log comes in. Audit logs let you know what are the modifications done to the microintegrator instance. For example, you, you can know who removed some processors and who added a new user into the system, so on and so forth. So these are the content that are logged by the microintegrator audit log. So here it contains the user who have performed the operation, the action type which can be created, updated, deleted, activated or disabled and type of the management operation that can be a user, a carbon application or proxy service and if there are any other additional information. Let's look at how audit log look like. So here we have the timestamp and the user who have performed the operation, the action and the type of the action and any other additional information. So this is an example of file getting printed when you try to disable a proxy service. Now let's get into the demo. So in this demonstration, I'm going to explain uh, what is the audit log feature and how it actually working. So in here, I had already downloaded the WC2 Microintegrator 410 product pack. So inside the product pack, you can go to the config directory and inside here, you can see the log4j property file. If you open up this log4j property file, you can see the audit log file appender. So in here, I have specified the repository log audit as the uh, audit, log, audit log output file that when the audit logs are getting printed, this will uh, retrieve the log into this log file. So in here, you can set up the file sizes and uh, so many other details. So the next thing I'm going to try out is to access the microintegrator with uh, admin services and logging into the microintegrator, uh, microintegrator with the admin service. So uh, in order to do that, first I'm going to start the microintegrator instance. So to do that, I'm going to into the microintegrator home bin directory and here you can start the microintegrator instance with the microintegrator asset file. Okay, so now the microintegrator instance uh, getting started. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, logging into the microintegrator with admin services. So I have this curl command. So this what this curl command do is. Uh, uh, access the management console with the username and password. So I am going to copy this curl command and execute it. So once you have executed, uh, I am getting the 200 OK response and as the payload I am getting as a access token. So this is the access token that we can use to access the admin service of the microintegrator. So I am going to copy this token and keep it for the later usage so next thing if you check the repository log file in the microintegrator you can see a file getting created the audit log dot logs so if you open up this log file here you can see the one single log line so that it say that admin is logged with the given time so this is the audit log that it getting printed when a new user trying in, trying to log in into the system with the admin services so the next uh, example i am trying to demonstrate how um, how you can um, disable enable disable a proxy service and what are the audit logs that are getting printed so to do this uh, I have created a simple proxy service. So here we are having a simple log mediator and respond mediator. So then uh, you have to generate, you can generate the carbon car, car application for this particular proxy service. So 
so this is the car application that I have and I'm going to deploy it inside the repository deployment server carbon apps folder so I'm going to paste this car file in this particular folder and once you have deployed it you can see the micro integrator is automatically identified this car file and deploy the proxy service and then I'm going to deactivate the, this proxy service with the admin server. access token that I have received from the login operation so here I'm going to replace the token bear token with the token that I have just received so in here the curl command you can see the proxy service as proxy service name as the test and the status that desired is the inactive state so I'm going to copy this proxy service and then trying to execute it so I'm getting the 200 okay response so in here the message payload is uh, proxy service test stopped successfully and if you try uh, check the audit log again here you can see another audit log, audit log getting printed so in this audit log we contain the detail who the who is the person who have performed this operation which is admin in this case and the action that i have performed is disabling the proxy service and the type of the operation is proxy service and some additional information so in here it contains the proxy service name so same as this way you can try out the different different um, operation on the micro integrator and the audit logs are getting printed all inside this uh, audit log file so it's really easy to um, uh, or the audit the micro integrator along with the audit logs so thank you very much for joining with this screencast